Hi guys, welcome back to Yola Nap. For today's video, we are going to show you how to fix Shopify shipping not available for selected address. So if you're interested, let's start the tutorial. So in this case, if you are getting this issue here or your customer is reporting that they are getting this issue here, uh, there are a few things you need to check here. So first is going to be your settings. So typically this issue stems with how you set up your store here, especially the shipping settings. So we first need to access that. So at the bottom left here, let's go and click on settings and you want to go to shipping and delivery. Now in here, you'll have the option to change your shipping rates. So by default, you have your general one here, your general uh, profile that you have, but you also have custom shipping rates option here, which in this case, you could actually uh, set this up. So in this case, if you want to create a new profile, you go and click on new profile here and start add in, uh, in this case, start adding that. But if you're just using the general option here, it should, uh, whenever you click on it, you'll have the option to view those pricing that you have. Like for example, I'm assuming you already set up your domestic here, but the most important section here is going to be international here especially for your international clients now and but in this case they actually mostly include all the countries in here or different regions in here already but in some cases some regions might not be included in here so in this case first identify where the client or in this case potential buyer is actually from so for example if they're from a country that is not stated in here it means they won't be able to purchase the actual product but you need to first do a few things so in this case, you could go ahead and basically edit your zone here. Click on edit zone. And from here, you want to go ahead and select all the countries that you want to add. So for example, if you've excluded Canada here, make sure to add that. And once you've added that, you could go ahead and start adding your rates here. If you have a different rate for that specific uh, country. So in this case, you could actually uh, remove conditional pricing here if you want or add them. So based on order price here. But in this case, uh, you could also add or go to your markets here and basically manage them. So if your country or that country is not yet active, you need to go to international. Or in this case, you want to go ahead and edit a few things like your shipping here. And in this case, edit the rates if you want to. But yeah, so basically the actual issue itself is going to be uh, the availability in your settings as you set up. Again, in market settings here, you want to first uh, make this active. If it's actually inactive here, they won't be able to check out. So especially if you are if you're shipping internationally, so make sure to make this active, set up your shipping rates here properly or your shipping settings, and you should be good. And that's about it. Hopefully this video was able to help you. Like and subscribe to Elena. Thank you for watching.